you are a doche diagnosed of chronic sickness due to Austin Ross as Gist Lover reviews. Hello, people, welcome back once again to my channel. You know, I must literally really tell you for the fact that this Edochi, you know, the case has gotten out of hands. I must really, really really tell you for the fact. And this is what a lot of people, you know, warned him about. A lot of people seriously warned him about what he was doing and probably what he was putting himself into. But Yele Duche failed to listen to people. He failed to listen to what people were telling him. You know, sometimes some people think because they have wealth, because they have influence and power, that they can do anything they want to do and go scot free. You know, Yele Duche was busy last year bragging. You know, he was so full of himself that he didn't even listen to what people were saying. You know, he was so full of himself to the extent that he went ahead to blaspheme against God and to lie against God. To the extent that he said that God supports polygamy, that he's a proud polygamist. You could see what wealth and influence and popularity is doing to some people. They don't even know that life is beyond wealth and life is beyond your fame and popularity. People called him and told him, young man, there will be consequences for these things you are doing. There will be consequences for the lies you've told. There will be consequences for betraying your wife. There will be consequences for, you know, uh, destroying what God built for you. He you know, thought that everything is all about having money and being popular. Without knowing that life is beyond that. A lot of people told him, you committed an abomination. You committed an abomination. You went and you were having an affair with somebody's wife. Why the person was still married to Mr. Bassi? You were having an affair with somebody's wife. And a lot of people told him that what you are doing, what he did was an abomination. Go and cleanse yourself. Like I've often said it here a countless number of times that whatever a man sowed, that's what the person will reap. If you sow the seed of evil, you reap evil. But when you implant or plant the seed of uh, good, you reap good. But yeah, the teacher failed to understand this father and he failed awfully to even understand what people were telling him. Now everything has started crumbling down. It's not even up to how many years, just within a space of a year, the yellow teacher has experienced the downfall of his life. And the height of it all was the death of his first son. What other sign does yellow teacher need to see that something is wrong somewhere? That something is not just right. I must really, really tell you for the fact. A lot of things has been happening to him. The first was that his political career became dead on arrival. Someone that wanted to vie for the president of the country. Immediately, did Austin came into his life. Immediately, it was revealed that the crime and abomination he committed. His political career came to an end. As if that was not enough, his movie career was going down on a daily basis. A man that was once regarded as uh, a very top actor and one of the most uh, talented actors in the Nollywood industry. His movie career is going down. His finances is going down. He no longer gets endorsement because people no longer like him. Because people, companies don't no longer, they don't want to identify with him again. Because people no longer trust and people no longer love him like before. And the height of it all was the death of his first son, Kambele Chukwu. You know, it is not something that is funny and it's not something that is that 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 is is, is casual. Like, I must tell you for the fact Yelobiche has really really used his own hands to to mess up his family. Yesterday he started fighting with, with his own brother. Yesterday he started fighting with his own brother Link Edoche. He went online and followed his brother. All because of Judy Austin. Now the question a lot of people, the pertinent question a lot of people have been asking is this. What is wrong with Yele Duchi? What is wrong with him? First incident has happened and you don't want to learn from it. Second incident has happened, you don't want to learn from it. Third, fourth, fifth, countless number of incidents have happened to, to, to signal you and to tell you that this thing you are doing is not right and is not ordained by God. You could imagine that after the death of Kambeli Chuku and after his, his son, being Kambeli Chuku died mysteriously, after someone killed and took the life of that particular boy, Bing Kambeli Chugu, a lot of people expected Yele Duche to let go of this polygamy and return back to his wife, at least to know where his problem is coming from. Because ever since he has been with me, Duche, for 18 good years, nothing of such nature has actually happened. But immediately this woman came to your life. Look at what has been happening. A lot of people expected him to use his senses to you know, uh, uh, do the right thing. But unfortunately, Yele Duche is still insisting that he will marry Jude Austin despite the death of his son being Kambeli Chuku he's insisting that he still be with Jude Austin, with Jude Austin. it is because of this same thing he said that is why he started fighting with his brother Linke Doche with his mother and with his brothers 
because those people told him that he, that Jude Austin is going to go because they let the level of disunity, hatred, and you know problems that he has brought upon this family is uncountable. But Yil Adichie is saying no, and he's insisting. Now, a lot of people believe that probably this is no longer ordinary. That is why I, I said that he has been diagnosed of his chronic sickness. And you look at what this particular person said. You know, in one of the posts that uh, this particular person said, he said something that I don't support cheating. I would never understand why faithfulness, self-control, and a bit of dignity is so hard for all the men and women who are constantly cheating. Cheating can lead to incurable diseases, affects your partner's mental health, and their self-confidence for life. Anyways, here is my thought. A man cheating has nothing to do with his partner, girlfriend, wife, or money or fame. Self-control is important. Learn how to be faithful and less support and less stop normalizing cheating. If a man cheats on a woman, it's either because his mom was a side hen and he grew up normalizing men, disrespecting his mother as a full mistress, or his father constantly cheating on his mother. So he grew up normalizing men cheating in relationship and marriages. Now, what this particular person is trying to say here is that Yolo is sick because he, 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 he cheats on his wife. He's a chronic cheater. And it's a very deadly disease because you don't even know how to control yourself. You don't have that self-discipline. You don't know how to, you know, discipline yourself. And this is what this particular person is saying. That you know, DJ is seriously uh, suffering from the spirit of cheating. That is why he doesn't want to allow Jude Austin to rule. Despite everything, despite the signs that God even showed him or even revealed to him, he still wants to stay with Jude Austin. Because he probably wants to enjoy all the pleasures to himself. And that is a sign of sickness. That when somebody does not want to put, uh, 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 don't want to think normal or probably put, his, uh, put the normal thing in the right place just because of the little pleasures he's getting from the woman. That is why Yellow teacher adamantly don't want Jude Austin to go. Probably he wants to be enjoying whatever he's enjoying with her. The death of his son was not, uh, would I say, it's not enough for him to rethink, have to rethink. It's not enough for him to change his ways. I must tell you that this disease is incurable. I don't know whether it's incurable, but I believe it's a very serious d- disease that this man has. For him to still not allow it to to go, despite the death of his son, means a lot. Despite how his son was uh, died mysteriously. And how did Austin has been promoting the abolical pro- product of his of our friend in Santa Martins. It goes a long way to tell you that what is wrong with Yolo Dichie is beyond the physical. It is a chronic sickness, I must tell you for the fact. Now, I would like you guys to drop a comment.